welcome back to Let's Play Outcast. And oh, nope. Already, uh, we are up to a bad start. Uh, mistakenly pressed WASD keys rather than the arrow keys. This game having been released in '99, yeah. So okay, so right now. Our task at hand is to find and rescue Shema's cap, I believe. Yeah, Shema's cap. And we have already finished a lot of the quests of relevant motors are. What we have, what we still have is um, rescuing Shema's and uh, finding out the, who is stealing the food from the storehouse. And of course the water merchant, Bobar, wants his Twana back. Yeah, that's basically it in the water bar. And to help me to help me guide through this maze and this map. Now, um, yeah, I believe that top left is where I should be going. Uh, and I see some weird, I guess, writings or symbols on the corners of the map. I hope it's nothing really uh, significant. That's there for flavor, or so to speak. Okay, so go left, go up. Okay, so go left. Yeah, let's just try to uh, navigate this maze using the map as best as possible. Alright, so this is a windswept valley of death. A lot of fire and lava threatening to engulf all of us. Hmm weird artifact going on so let's consult the map once more okay I think we are at uh, the middle section if I can I like to assign this no I think apparently I can assign it to a hockey all right so I need to go all the way up go right and down Okay, let's go all the way up and see where it leads us. Some spiders um, just waiting for me to drop, and uh, whoa! It seems like walking on a walking on some invisible bridge. So I have gone all the way up, right and down. So I haven't really faced any fork in the road so far. Oh. Here's a dead end. Okay. Um, well, can I jump? I can jump, right? Nope. I can't. Well, well, in normal circumstances, I'd probably be able to jump, but yeah, that'll be cheating in this case. So, no go. Maybe here I can jump. Alright, great. Hope oh, you guys don't mind me trying to circumvent the maze by jumping. The talents do not have the legs strong enough to jump, so maybe uh, that is why. Oh my goodness, what is this crazy thing? Oh boy. Oh man, I feel sorry for you, man. Uh, I think you're also trapped here as well. Between um Oh, let's just ask him. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? I am a mighty guardian, Ulukai, and I was trying to free the Shamas. But I've been stuck in this maze for a moon and have not been able to find a way out. Well, understandable. You sound a little young. Young? Okay, I'm not really a guardian yet. But I was going to become one when I freed the shamans. But now I just want to go home. Maybe that's the equivalent of a nasal sort of high pitched voice for teenager Talan. Okay. You need some help? Have you a map of this place? I would like to use it to get out, Urugai. Well, I have a map, but I also have to use it as well, so. Yeah, I do have one. May I have it, Urugai? I would like to go back home now. Maybe we can wait a little until I get the Shemis cap and then we can go go all together. Uh sure why not? 
on this sure, guy. Here you go. I have a photographing memory. Thank you, that. Guy. I will give you my lucky object in return. It did not bring me any luck. Maybe it will for you. Okay, what did I just get? I think I got some explosives. You need any more help? No, I will just need to study this spot. Now, is it to the left or right there? Oh, where am I? Oh, maybe I wait until you have studied the map and then maybe you can give it to me. Alright, let's see what I got. Well, I cannot really tell what I actually got, but um, yeah, definitely would have should have used an F link. <laughs> My bad. Well, I can use it now here, so I can come back, I guess, to some kind of this crazy mate. Does this still explode? Yeah, it does. Okay, so. Not that one. Not the notepad. Backpack. Carbon necklace. I wonder what this does. A mon in disguise. What man? Health plant. Nice. Green helium. Oh, great. The music that I used for the introduction for the first 10 episodes of this LP. Pretty cool. I hold this as a lucky charm, I guess. Alright, so I need to find a way. Maybe if I can just go all the way. I wonder if there's any space for me to stand at the end of this rolling spear maze. Alright. There goes nothing. Oh, oh. oh, there's actually space in between, so I can... Um... Oh, okay, so I don't have to run all the way. Okay, so... Oh, Alright, so this platforming is going to uh, give me a lot of... Uh, a lot of trouble, it seems. Wow. I thought that for a moment, I thought that I would die. Just plunge into the lava and uh, there'll be for the Rulukai. Okay, so um, if you jump when the this platform is going up, you have a more... You gain more height. It doesn't go all the way down. Oh, get up, get up. <sighs> okay, oh, you're you're me. We have to actually balance on this platform. Ouch. Died. Yep. The game going to crash. Yes, it did. Alright folks, um I'll return in a zippy. Alright folks, I'm back. I'm sorry for the first crash. And there were a lot of problems after that first crash. Boy, did I have a lot of problems here in this LP episode. Um, actually I played a couple of times. Well, couple. By couple I mean like five or six times. Until I realized after even saving a couple of times at different places. Uh, in my quest to get Shaman's Cap, that I didn't actually push the record button. Yeah, silly me. So, trying to actually go back and maybe emulate uh, the adventure of Commander Slade from where he last died and where he last saved. So, to actually lend at least a bit of an air of credibility and continuity. So if you find this a bit amiss, I apologize. And I'm um, here. Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, the music. So if I try to talk to this guy, this uh, wannabe guardian. Yeah, you can see that I already have given him the map before I saved. And uh, let's try to prepare for real this time. Place my f -link. Good. And I save, and this will go on record. Finally, this LP is going places. Oh, 
Can you believe it, folks? Can you believe it? While I was trying to save using game save, I, I don't know I, how I moved, but my toe moved an inch and then it basically picked up the F-Link that I dropped just before I saved. This is just so crazy, but at least I saved, right? Okay, it's really hard to explain the kind of troubles I'm having in this LP episode. I already have an idea of what to name uh, this episode. And this is going to be uh, not really flattering. Ouch! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm still standing! Quickly! Quickly, get the medical kit! Run! Oh my goodness! I thought I was going to be a goner that time. Ah, <sighs> this deserves another save. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry, folks, uh, for breaking this gameplay a bit, but. Man, I was just sweating bullets there. In all the wrong places, too. If you keep panic, actually, um, that's where the game gets even worse in terms of difficulty. And, uh, alright, didn't have to even raise myself up there. It's a clean jump. I wonder if I can actually go up to the platform here. Huh. Uh, you can try. I don't want to try. I have to probably um, stay on this course. That's because um, I deserve it. I deserve it. I'm trying to cheat my way through. Because I'm sure that there's a way. Um, if you if you can see, there's actually a sort of a ledge that you can use, right, to travel. That's only for those people who have figured out the maze, it seems. And uh, you will see what I mean uh, in the second part of this crazy traps. That definitely I should have taken a bit more time to figure this maze out because um, this is not really uh, for the faint-hearted. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, all the physics. This game at work. Look at this. Look at this blasted landscape. Yeah, metal detected for sure, but all I see is this plane of pure death and fiery destruction. Screw you, Feyran. Okay, anyways, um. Yeah, I picked to jump across this miserable plane of lava. Oh, if I even so little as to touch a particle of this exploding lava, probably I probably stagger into right into the pool. So I really need to be careful. Yep. Yeah. Damn it, you're on your fire. Oh at least he doesn't die. Okay, so he's in the thick of things. Keep jumping. Get a straight Okay. Oh that really gave him a bit bit of burn there. Ah oh, finally he died. Yeah, this is what happens, folks, if you don't, uh, what do you say it? If you throw caution to the wind. Oh, man, I'm sure that I'm doing things wrong. I'm pretty sure. All right, we're back. And this time it's personal. I hate you, Feyran. Why is it Anthony Sue? It's a human name. Ouch. Yep. Yeah. I uh, thankfully have some medkits with me. Alright. I made my way to the edge. Which is a bit easier for me because uh, they don't explode. Oh, we got a little bit of magma pool here. Jeez. Right up until the end. 
this game gives me uh, uh, gives me things to sweat about. Okay, so what do we do here? Hmm. All right, so we have arrived. Oh man, the music is actually. Uh, what do I do here? Do I press this button or shoot it? Actually, hey, actually, it sort of reminds me of this uh, marking that I don't have right now. Blast it. I believe I have a key though, right? I dropped it somewhere. Or maybe I didn't drop it, but I still have it. Uh, one of these keys. I have to put it here. Oh, good. Alright, nice goodie. All my troubles across that plane of uh, fire destruction and death. Okay, so the second key. Huh? Do I hear someone? a bit paranoid after all the troubles I have been um, experiencing. Actually, actually this uh, prison, actually the symbols over the doors actually coincide with the, the shape of the stone key I need to use. So that's pretty intuitive. Third one. Oh! Shamas Cab. Shema's cab, I presume. You came for me. I do not know how you made it here, but I thank you. Yeah, you need to wait a bit more, it wasn't though. Easy, let me tell you. Now the fun part, getting you back. I need to get to the I last door. No, I need to get to the last door, please. What am I waiting for? Ah, I call her Vovo. Is she not gorgeous? Flying tone, huh? Yeah, wonderful. This is awesome. Can't help but notice you've got a saddle on that thing. What are you thinking? This is what no. I was afraid you were thinking. I had to open the last door. Ah, my bad. But this is pretty cool, actually. Um. Uh, what is Color doing there? A bit too close to the Shemes. Maybe we can uh, get a bit of a stop over um, where the Guardian was and maybe bring him, bring him in as well. Yeah, well I'm a seal. I only like land or sea by nature. Riding huge bats wasn't in my basic training. Just flying tornado. This is pretty fun, actually. I'm not worried. If I wasn't worried about Terrified, this game crashing, I'd probably uh, capture a screenshot or something here, but I do not want to risk. Hey! hey. Yeah. Right. Right over your head. I think the Tuana, the flying Tuana is a uh, Volvo, it was called. I'm losing its strength. How do you land this thing? Land! Land is there, Ulukai! I know, because it's coming up fast! Ah! Oh no. Pretty hard. Hard landing. Nasty spill. Ah, I thought you but, said uh, Vovo was an excellent flyer. I did, but I said nothing about the landing. Nothing about the landing, yeah. Can I buy it off of you? Great straight man, has anyone ever told you that? How can I ever repay you, Ulukai? You could tell me you have the Mon and that I don't have to thumb wrestle Godzilla for it. I have the Mon. It is hidden in my temple. 
just a moment. No way. Some huge monster is going to step over that mountain or come flying out of that lava pit over there. It's just how my day is going. Uh oh. And you, you dumb lizard, shoo, shoo! I got a lump on my noggin thanks to you. Yeah. Hey, do I, little guy, the bun. Well, what ATI Rage 128. Monsters. Monsters, little guy? Never mind. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. To be a part of the removal of their run is all the thanks I need. Okay, so, uh. Maybe you can heal me or tell me more about the. the you know, surrounding land and the people. Actually, you can ask him about Come the. Nothing so, free and all. You feel better out of your cell? Yes, Lukai. You will always be in my blessings now. Could you bless me up a science probe? I am sorry, Lukai. Never mind. At least I've got him on. Yep. I hope your journey to find the others is less troublesome. I very much doubt that, but thanks anyhow. Okay, cool. So it was Croax who put you in jail, right? For hiding guardians from him, yes. When the soldiers found them, they were reverted right before my eyes. Why didn't the soldiers revert you as well? They still fear the wrath of the Yodka, the Yod of the Shamaz. Iran has done much to try and show his soldiers that we are not to be feared, but some still regard us with a bit of respect. Okay. So that's why he was planning the public execution. Yes, to show the soldiers that nothing bad would befall him when he took my essence. He does this often whenever he thinks his soldiers need to be reminded of his power. None of the soldiers will have a... Uh... I guess defective weapons or the weapons with less power. Okay, well, that was that. I've got another man. Oh, no, Mon. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Was it the Oda? Oda corpse is still out here in the open. Alright, I hope you're happy, Shemes. Now, tent your people. I. I think now I'm able to maybe go back, but still some un unfinished businesses to attend to. Hey you! Stick to you. Okay, I thought he was stealing something. Guess uh, this is the storehouse with a lot of pots. Pardon me, buddy. Who's Zine? Where is Zine? Zine? Oh, okay, Zine. I no see him, but I think he is far north of here. Oh. Can that sound strange? He's a different uh, voice that we used to be hearing. Okay, well. Okay, let's get all the plants here since the, uh, I guess, torn dropping is actually making the soil fertile enough for the plants to grow. But I have a different plan for this Twana. I believe I have a Hoti somewhere. Let's try to see if I can lower the Twana using the Hoti. Here, Hoti, Hoti. Follow me. Uh, probably not. Can I drop it? Alright, so does rescuing Shaman's Cap It doesn't really cancel all the existing quests yet. Maybe I try to stop the food thief. It's in the south, right? So I need to probably guard the entrance or something. Or jump on top of the building and see who's coming nearby. Oh, it's always turning around the premise. 
That would definitely help. What's this guy doing? He's still looking at me. Ooh, he's going inside the house. Oh, he's holding something. Cut, yeah. Exactly. I caught you stealing there, buddy. Yeah. Oh, well, what did you have in your hand there? You must let me go, Urukai. Others are starving. What are you talking about? The workers in the mines are only given small pieces of food each moon. We need more. Why don't they feed you better if they want you to work? It was not bad until you arrived on Adelpha, Ulukai. Since then, almost all our food supply is gone, and the soldiers take the rest. Please do not turn me in, Ulukai. Maybe, uh, maybe me stopping the risk production in Shemazar probably had something to do with that. Well, being a nice man of virtue, maybe I can work something out with uh, Ashkar myself so can I let him go or now why I didn't see any crime here thank you Ulukai. please take this as a form of thanks for so you me. gain uh, some kind of key what is it one of the keys to a soldier storage house there are some houses around Motazar which are locked and hold items taken from all palans if you find any keys to them, you may want to see if you can free those items for your use. Hmm, I don't know why he didn't use the keys for himself. Hmm. Well, I guess it's uh... I don't know how that's going to affect my standing with Ashkar. If he knows a thing or two. Oh, okay, so I see actually the locked gauge here, marked with the same symbol. I wonder what this symbol means. Maybe it's a symbol of Feyran. Okay, so I need, still need to use this stone key. Let's see if there are any spiders nearby. Nope. Still metal detected? Where? Oh, downstairs. Stable organic energy detected. Mm, I need to go to Ashkar. I wonder where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, slow down. Okay, right after. Slade! Come in, Slade! Oh, wow. Slade here. What's up, Wolf? We're under attack. I can really use a hand here. Roger, I'm heading for the camp now. What camp? I decided to help the Talon, so I'm not at the camp. What? Damn it, Wolf, I told you to stay I guess there. This camp is in Ranzar, right? Save the lecture cut. We're in trouble and we're not going to hold on forever. Give your location. Hang on. Hey, what is this place? Oh. We're north of the barrier in Shamazar. Okay. Barrier in Shamazar? Can you be more specific? I didn't get that last transmission. Just head to the northwestern hurry. Marion out. Hmm. Wolf? Come in, Wolf. Damn it. Like I needed another problem right now. Luckily, uh, I was able to get them on, though. Uh... The game for... Okay. All right. I got Shema's cab out of jail. You have flown overhead for all to see, Urukai. You truly are from the yards themselves. But I let the thief go. I hope you don't mind. It wasn't my ride, it was the Shamaz's. Yes, but seeing you with him gave all a feeling of hope. Okay, now stop mining and feed your guys. If you stopped mining Halidium, that would hurt the soldiers, yes? Mm, to do this thing would cause their weapon supply to run low, forcing them to reuse older weapons which will get weaker with time, yes? 
Could you convince them all to do this for me? I think we can do this for you, Wukai. I shall spread the word. Great. Thank you, Ashkar. You must fulfill the prophecy and recover all the months, Ulukai. Only then will we all be truly free. Wait here. I will meet with the other Talan. So if you know one or two things about the Talan speak, you were eavesdropping on their conversation and able to understand what they're talking about. So we're talking about how much of a loser that modern merchant is. Ashkar? Give me good news. You had it, Urukai. All mining has stopped. Ah, uh, my battered bones. Thank you, Ashkar. You don't know what this means to me. It means that all weapons of the soldiers will become very weak. And it means that the soldiers are going to return and they revert us all if you are not successful. But we think you will be. I better be. For both our world's sakes. Both our worlds? Forget it. I'll tell you about it another time. Thanks, Ashkar. Alright, I hope you guys actually uh, guard the Daokas now, uh, and uh, maybe get the weapons yourselves as well, because apparently the soldier's weapons are not top quality now, that you can probably defeat them just using, you know, rudimentary melee weapons. Alright, let's save before uh, anything goes wrong. So yeah, after a bit of troubles in the early goings, I made uh, some progress. And I was wondering about the barrier in the north in Shemezer now. Yeah, it comes into play. Okay. The last time, let me try to lower this tone uh, using a piece of hoti. Yeah? You miss that Hoti? Here is another Hoti. Oh, what happened to the Hoti? Did I just get it as I dropped it? Um, what happened to the Hoti? Um, did I try to actually break, break the game or something? <laughs> Once more. Yeah, I think I actually the whole table disappeared because it sort of understood the game understood it as being consumed by the Tuana. And I probably need to procure a, you know more than one Hoti to be able to bring the Tuana to each owner. So yeah, maybe this should wait. Alright. And before I actually go back to Shemazar and help Marion. I need to collect all my F-Links. Um, nope. Let me collect that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did all the F-Link platform get reset? It did get reset. So I can actually go back to where I started this uh, LP in order to open the last last door using the stone key. Ah, uh, just my luck, but... You know, I guess I should content myself that I was actually able to open the first two doors before throwing Shemes cap, so... I guess 12 3 ain't that bad. Anyways, um, okay. Yeah, 12 3 ain't that bad. Probably it's going to be, uh, it would have been some... I don't know, some... You know, the same kind of a gadget and items that I already have a lot of, so no big loss. I almost accomplished everything in Motazar, except for helping the 
jerk water merchant who's not going to trust anybody. So, alright, go for him. And uh, apparently, all the talents are going back from the mines to get their home. I want to thank you for helping me by stopping your mining. Yeah. We only hope that this will help you in your quest for the Mon Zorotai. It should, since the soldiers' weapons will begin to get weaker very soon. Oh man. Alright, that's really good to hear. Alright, let's go back to... Shemazar. Oh, actually... There was Daoka that traveled to Shemazar directly without actually going through Okriana, so... I think it was nearby the barracks in the north. I probably use a Daoka there. I'm going to arrive at Temple Fei, obviously. Alright. Oh man, a lot of talents are out and about. And they themselves have gotten. They've taken up arms. Just like those in the Shamazar region, and they're also doing a push up. Good. I'm going to help you with your upper body. It's going to help you with your upper body strength. It'll maybe also help you to jump once in a while. Yep, so this is the Temple Bay Daoka. And let's ask uh, whether Zeki has anything more to say. Okay, so the options are available. Your mentor is free. Your name rings true, Ulukai. You have come to save us all. Some miners have given oh, me okay. this as an offering to the Yod to help. I think they would be better used in your hands. Some more goodies. You will make a great Shema someday, Zaggy. Yeah, being generous is the first step. One can only hope. Um, did he give me something? I'll snap this stone key to use. Hmm. If I ever, if I ever get a flying Tuan Ha. Uh, within my adventures, I definitely come back here and get the last, open the last stone chamber or prison. All right? And then time to save because I don't know what I'm going to be faced with after I cross into temple, after I cross back into Shemazar. Okay, my gun drawn. Not that gun, this gun. Let's go. See anybody? At least in, in the temple fay. And uh, is my Tona still waiting for me across the? Nope. He's gone back to maybe ranch. Oh no, actually he's waiting for me. Man, a loyal Tona. Awesome. Like we can help Marion and uh, the local tenants probably. Was trying to fend off the attacks from the north. I believe war was the breeding ground for the the flying creatures. Kind of similar to what Shemes kept used to escape from the maze. Oops. All right, now look at showing. Get out of there. Yeah, right in front of my Tona. That was pretty. That was pretty embarrassing. Kodak probably enjoyed that. He needed a shower after his trip to Motazar. Nice. 
Alright, let's go and uh, rescue Marion. I know where that barrier is located. Maybe I can ask one of these risk counters what's up exactly. Well, okay. No matter. His purpose in this game is over, has been over for a while. Alright, huh? I see a lot of talents actually traveling uh, toward that direction. Okay. It's sort of hitting me down. For what reason? Um, more. Hmm. Well, I guess he's just uh, raising his hands up to. Over here, Ulukai. Over here, huh? Over here, Ulukai. Yeah, somebody's definitely trying to get my attention. This guy. Where are the other temples in Shamazar? No, this is not the question I uh, should have asked. When you go to the north. Oh, event. Okay, so this is the event. What did you want? Where am I? Did you know that the barrier is down to the north? I wonder what is happening. Yeah, me too. I'm going there right away. My trusted tour now. Oh, it'd be so awesome if I'm able to shoot mines on the back of Tona. I can. This is... Oh my god. This is such a great thing. Um, I don't want any other talent to get hurt, so I destroy this. Okay. Alright, for now I'm gonna just use this faster pistol. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, sure. I thought that this was like another barrier like water that my Tona cannot cross. Oh, hi guys. Your weapons are all defective. Surrender. Um, should I actually attack at the first side of them? Okay, well, I did set up the barrier. Wow. Okay, so I see these guys are attacking. Yeah, it's their fortress. So these guys are really uh, not trying to find me directly, since some of them have run away. Of course, they have. Okay, so this one is out of control once again. I know, I knew how to stop it. This, this. Okay, yeah. I was have to stop it. Maybe this Tona was uh, kind of spooked by all the shooting. I almost tempted to actually let myself get hit to see how much damage the weapons do now. But I won't risk any uh, damage to my Tona, so I just uh, try to parry them as much as possible and then make, you know, try to pick them up one by one if they're congregated together, it's good it's good that I actually use this mine once in a while so they have a lot, so Oh, 
I wonder what this guy uses. Magical electric spells. I bombard them with Mars. Okay, so these guys are hiding around. They've all been damaged by the mines already, so one or two shots will do it. Yeah. I don't really see a lot of other flying units dropping bombs on me. I don't know where they all went. And furthermore, I don't know where Marion is, even though she said that she's uh, kind of holed up and being attacked. First. First time I saw these guys, the enemies, they were not doing really, they were not doing anything. They were not attacking anybody, they were just standing around. Okay. So, this officer chief character is the only guy in this section of the map. Tuana didn't get damaged there. Just using some advanced mortar stuff. I think we should get up here to try to uh, know the secret to this place. Do I find Marion all tied up and imprisoned? Or. Um, I'm actually being led somewhere where I um, really don't know what I'm doing. Before I try to press that big round button, let me try to examine the other other um, what's it called observation deck first. I'm sure, it's gonna do something to uh, change the course of mission. Yeah, so that was pretty easy, actually. I don't know whether the weapons actually got weaker, but that last mine volley that the you know the enemy chief officer had shot definitely exploded near my Tona, but my Tona didn't die. So oh, the door is kind of locked. Maybe that round button would have unlocked this door. My bad. I wonder where I, don't, I wonder where Marion is. Hmm. Key. Where? Oh. Dropped by the the soldier chief. Before I press that big button, let me save first. Okay. The big button. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, of course, the door opened. I wonder uh, what's on the other side of the, the deck over there. Wish I could just jump over, but... Uh, I'm tingling with anticipation. First I need to draw my gun first. I don't know what's going to happen. Big bad antelope mother might come out and then go... Rrr. And I also wonder what actually made the barrier drop in the first place. Okay. Alright, so under cutscene. Oh, okay, so this is where they're hold up. Well, you sure are getting a lot of use out of your white horse lately, aren't you? 
Can the wisecracks, Wolf. I told you to stay at the Guardian camp. What are you doing here? You said stay with the Guardians. When I heard they were heading to attack this Ventilope training base, Ventilope. I figured I'd stay with the Guardians and help. That's not what I meant, and you know it, Wolf. That's twice you've disobeyed an order and gotten me into trouble. That's not fair, Slade. I was trying to help. Nebraska was going to... It's in the past, Wolf. A past no one will remember if the Guardians don't find that damn probe soon. I just wanted you to know that I didn't have anything to do with the hearing going on the way it did. My mother... The Senator didn't make you lie, Marion, and you know it. You did what you did because you were afraid to face the consequences of your actions. That's not true! Isn't it? Then why didn't you stand up to her? I know you're capable of doing it because you went against her wishes to go into journalism in the first place. How did you know that? I can read, Wolf. The Time article about your powerful family was very insightful. Oh yeah, that. So, once again, here I am cleaning up your mess! Look... I don't suppose it would do any good to tell you that there's not a night that passes that I don't wake up seeing Nebraska fall from that crane, screaming for what seems like hours. I know I screwed up. I have the same dream, Wolf. But right now, I don't have time to babysit you as you run around trying to set things right by being a hero. Babysit? <laughs> I just blew up this place to try and help you, you jerk. Thanks. Now get your ass back to the camp. You know, you might want to lighten up someday, Slade. I hear being an asshole all the time can raise your cholesterol level. Uh. I really should feel honored. It's not every person who can say that the entire universe is out to screw up his life. Okay, so there was a bit of a... Oh, the ammo. Good. Uh, anyways, uh, there was a bit of a tense interlude between uh, Marion and Slade. Uh, there was definitely uh, a bit of pass between these two, and something really bad happened during the training that they mentioned, where one of the people who was there with them, called Nebraska, uh, fell to his death, and there was a Senate hearing soon after, and Marion, of course, didn't as uh, Slade Pritchett didn't cover for him even though he didn't really do anything wrong and I guess the most of the blame fell on uh, Cutter so I guess he has a lot of grudge against Marion Hey! Remember this? Stick in the mud Getting some explosives Yeah, so he has a lot of bad feelings about Marion and... And you know, Cutter should lighten up because you know, we need all the help that we can get in order to solve this crisis right now but it seems that Marion really didn't help in trying to clear up the area. Um, because the show's kind of holed up. Almost imprisoned, really. And uh, didn't do much in trying to defeat or even, I don't know, scatter the forces already there. Hold up. Didn't really seem to have faced them much. Or even affect their numbers. So yeah, Feather has to clean up Marion's mess all over again, but um, he actually ended up rescuing the Guardians as well, so... All in all, the mystery to the, the mystery spare is, is, is finally solved, it was actually a bench of training ground. I knew it was a bench of training ground, but I wasn't really sure um, when I was actually able to get across that. And uh, since I cleared the area up, maybe it means that there will be no ventilopes to try to swoop in and drop the bomb on my head. I uh, never really had a problem with evading ventilopes, but there will be another problem gone. Maybe I won't have to face ventilope in, in all of Adelpha. So it's all good. Alright, so, after what seems to be ages, I'm finally back to Okriana. And uh, I don't know where Marion went, but probably went back to Ranzar with the rest of the Guardians. And uh, yeah, need to still solve some problem with the Water Merchant. Uh, 
still need to go to, I guess, Okesankar. Yeah, this guy wanted the special blade from the people of Orkar, so that's that. Yeah, so uh, I guess I end the episode here. And it's been another exciting adventure for uh, Slade and uh, his trusty Torna. He travels to where no human has ever gone before. Alright, thank you for joining me and please stay tuned.